Kelly, thank you very much. And one welcome, Philadelphia Fed President to New York, Patrick thank Harker. You. Good to see you, President Harker. Thanks. So I listened to your speech earlier. You, like a lot of your colleagues, are very worried about the inflation situation. Yeah. Yeah. Are you in the camp then for a 50 basis point rate hike? Next not, meeting in May? Yeah, not at this point, but I wouldn't take it off the table. I am a median dot, if you look at the dot plot. So I was in for seven 25 basis point increases. Two things are happening, right? One is raising the Fed funds rate. And then second is normalizing the balance sheet, which will also remove accommodation. Should that start in May? I would like to see it start sooner rather than later. And how aggressive should that look? Because we don't hear as much about the balance sheet shrinking. Yeah. So my view on the balance sheet is we start on a process of reducing the size and then put it on autopilot, not use that as a tool of monetary policy. It's hard to do policy with two things moving at the same time. So let's put the balance sheet normalization on autopilot and then we can adjust, if necessary, the Fed funds rate going I don't forward. think the market likes that whole idea of balance sheet normalization on autopilot. Wasn't that a, a sort of communication error the last time that uh, happened? Doesn't it have to depend on what happens with the markets and the economy? We can use the Fed funds rate to adjust appropriately. I think in this case, we should communicate early, often, what we're going to do. We're just finalizing that plan, and then we execute it. I don't think we should play around with it month to month. I f I'm sort of surprised that you're not there yet on a 50 basis point hike next I'm meeting, because I, I feel like a lot of your colleagues are getting there. Yeah. And there's a realization that the Fed's kind of behind on yeah, the inflation I'm not, fight. I'm not taking it off the table at all. I mean, in fact, I'm quite open to the idea of a 50 basis point. Let's see what the next inflation reading comes out. Also, the details of how we're going to be normalizing the balance sheet, because that will matter, too. Inversion of the yield curve. It's yeah. happening. Yeah. What does that signal to you? How much do you care? So the evidence is mixed, right, if you look at the data. It clearly is correlated with recessions, but causation is not <laughs> very clear. So. We need to make sure that we're looking at lots of different data. We are starting this process of raising rates and removing accommodation with a very healthy economy absent the inflation numbers. You just look at the jobs numbers we're seeing, including those today. This is a strong position we're in. So I think we can't always use the history with respect to the yield curve as the sole measure. Is it a, a measure? Absolutely, but not the measure. But I feel like the concern is actually that the Fed, that, that you guys are going to overdo it when it comes to hiking interest rates to fight inflation and sink us into recession. So that's why I'm still open to 25 versus 50 next month. And I think we need to be careful about this, that we don't ruin a good economy otherwise, except for inflation. That, so we'll see. When do you think inflation peaks? Yeah, so it will probably it depends on the supply chains. I would, would have said sometime this year, early this year, but with the China situation, the Ukraine situation, so many other things are coming at us, it's a little hard to predict right now. Are you still in the camp that says inflation will go down to the 4 percent or so level by the end of the year? Because we're, what, around 8 percent right now? A lot would have to go right. Yeah, so I'm north of 4 percent, somewhat north of 4 percent. But again, a lot would have to go right. And I'm really concerned about the shutdown in China and how that's going to affect supply chains. And of course, this tragedy that we're seeing unfold in Ukraine. Can the Fed do something about that? I mean, doesn't that mean you should tighten more? <laughs> See, this is where, I mean, you just nailed it. We are trying to balance off two things. And I think here, uh, I am still for seven 25 basis points for this year. We've got one, we've already done. But if the data, and it's not just the actual inflation number I look at, it's what I'm hearing from my contacts. This is the beauty of the Federal Reserve System and the regional banks. Uh, are these supply chains really continuing to be a problem? Are we seeing underlying inflation dynamics getting better or worse? That's what I'm looking for.